Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution for question eight of the January 2024 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. We are in section two and our question says, the diagram below shows the graphs of two functions on the same pair of axes. The lines G and H are perpendicular. That is important information there. These two lines meet at right angles. And the first thing we want to find is the equation that represents line G. The equation of a straight line is usually given as y equal mx plus c, where m is the gradient, and that is how steep the line is, and c is the y-intercept. That's the point where it crosses the y-axis. And so we need to find these two values, the m and the c, and then we can substitute them back into this. Now for, for, um, for line g, we have some options. We have two coordinates here. That is, we have this coordinate, which is 0, 6, or sorry, negative 6, 0. And we have this coordinate here, which is 0, 3. That is the intercept there. And we can use our formula, um, y minus y2, take away y1, over x2, take away x1. This gives us the gradient. So we can label our points, x1, y1, x2, y2, and substitute our numbers. So we have 3, take away 0, over 0, take away negative 6. And that, of course, gives us 3 over 6, which is a half. So our gradient is a half there. Alternately, we could use the idea that the gradient is equal to the rise divided by the run. So we could draw a line. Notice that there's a nice triangle here that's defined for us. And we could use that triangle to determine what the gradient is by using rise over run. So here is the rise and here is the run. So the gradient would be the rise here. Notice that the rise is three and the run here is six. It says negative six here, but we're dealing with a distance. So we use six and that tells us that the gradient is a half. So same half as we got over there using the formula. Now, this point here is the y-intercept, and the y-intercept is 0, 3, which means that it crosses, the line crosses the y-axis at the point 3. And so we can substitute those two numbers in our, in our equation. So y equal mx plus c means we have y is equal to half x, that's m, m is a half, plus 3, that's the equation that we need there. Next, we want to find the equation of line H. Now remember the question had said that um, the two lines are perpendicular to each other. And per being perpendicular to each other means that the gradient of one is the negative reciprocal of the other. Meaning that the gradient we had a while ago was the equation was y equal a half x plus three. So the gradient is a half. And because the gradient is a half, we can use this gradient to find the gradient of the other line because they're perpendicular. We take this half and use, it, use the reciprocal of it. That is, we flip it upside down, get 2 over 1, and make it negative. So the negative reciprocal, so this gives us negative 2. So this is the gradient we need for line H. And of course, we need something else to help us to find the equation now we do not see the y-intercept here we cannot just write it down because it's not there but we do have a point here and that point is four zero so we could use this point and that gradient to write down the equation of the line using the general form of the line which is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and we can label this as x1 y1 now let's substitute that information into the formula. So we have y minus y1, which is 0, is equal to m, which is negative 2, um, x minus 4. Of 
course y minus 0 is y and this gives us a negative 2x plus 8 so this is the equation of line h which is y equal negative 2x plus 8 so we have found the equation of line g and line h and now we continue with the other part of the question so the other part of the question says calculate the coordinates of the point p and show all your working now the point p is where the two lines meet so both lines are equal at that point uh, the first line g is y equal half x plus 3 and the second line h is y is equal to negative 2x plus 8 those are the results that we just got and what we know is that the two lines are equal at this point um, which means that's that half x plus 3 is equal to negative 2x plus 8 we can regroup this equation to say half x um, plus 2x is equal to 8 minus 3 which tells us that 2 and a half x is equal to 5 let's just rewrite this as 5 over 2 x is equal to 5 and we can cross multiply so cross multiplying here we have 5x is equal to 10 and therefore x is equal to 10 divided by 5 which is 2 so x is 2 at that point and continuing with it since x is 2 then the other value we can use one of the other equations to find it um, using y is equal to half x plus 3 since x is 2 then half of 2 plus 3 would give us 1 plus 3 which is 4 so the coordinates of the point would be 2 4 2 on the x-axis 4 on the y-axis this is our point those are the coordinates of the of the equation the coordinates rather of the point where the two lines intersect right there all right so we have found that so we can move on to the other part of the question and the other part of the question says to write this function in the form a bracket a x plus h square so we asked we are being asked to complete the square on this and to complete the square on this there is an easy way and a hard way. I'm going to be choosing the easy way by using formula. By using formula, we have h is equal to b over 2a. And the value k is equal to c minus b square over 4a. Now let's plug some values into this. This is a, that is b, this is c. So the h value is equal to b, which is negative 24, over 2a, which is 2 times 4. So we have negative 24 over 8, which gives us negative 3. And the k value is c, which is 31, minus b squared b is negative 24 divided by 4a 4 times 4 so this gives us 31 minus 24 square divided by divided by 16 once we work that out, plug that into your calculator somehow, we get that 31 minus 36, and that works out to just negative 4, negative 5 rather. So um, just a matter of typing this in your calculator and get a result, um, and that, that works itself out there. And now we have our two values. We have our h value, which is negative 3. We have our k value, which is negative 5. 
and the a value of course which is 4 so we can just write those in in this form so 4x squared minus 24x plus 31 is the same thing as saying 4 bracket x plus h h is negative 3 so we just write a negative 3 there square and k is negative 5 so we write negative 5 and that's that we have completed the square and this expression here is the same thing as this moving on here it says on the axis below sketch the graph of this 4x squared minus 24x plus 31 indicating the coordinates of the maximum uh, or minimum point and the y intercept now let's go look back at our function here the maximum or minimum is determined from the value here now because this 4 is positive we know that our minimum value is negative 5 on the y-axis that's our minimum the axis of symmetry which is the line that passes through the graph through the middle of the graph is the negative of this so we have x equal 3 for our axis and the y-intercept is the number 31 so we need these three values so looking at our graph our minimum is some number down there negative 5 our axis is x equal 3 so some number over here call that 3 and what we know is that when we because we're doing a sketch um, this, this these little lines are important the graph is going to turn somewhere here and it's going to pass our y-intercept somewhere up there which that value is going to be 31 so we can simply sketch our graph like that oh, the question says show the maximum minimum point and the y-intercept so the minimum point is here and it's going to pass through this value and then this one is going to go somewhere up there about this business and so this is a sketch of the graph like I said it's a sketch of the graph so you should not um, draw this on um, on graph paper it is it is not intended to be a, a graph that you draw on graph paper it's intended to be a sketch so this is this is what you are supposed to do something like this and of course it's a state equation of the axis of symmetry we have done that already it is x equal x equal 3 and that brings us to the end of our question thank you for watching and if you need more help always you can always go to csecmathtwitter.com look at the things that we have there solutions as well as past papers and other material that you can learn from and of course please feel free to refer the site to someone who needs help with their mathematics as well thank you again until next time